I go to Pius. I'm at the university. I'm a sophomore at Shelton. Sacred Heart School. I'm a senior at Aquinas. Seneca. It's in Kansas. Kansas. North American Martyrs. Lincoln. We're, we're going to be driving 24 hours, first day, and we're going to do it for the babies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and this time to come together in your name. In order to defend life, we ask that you be with us, be with us on our travels. Help us to come together in solidarity as we stand together for such a great cause. We ask that you bless us and to bless us and keep us safe. I love road trips! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The life was very good concert. It was great. There was lots of music and there was adoration and confessions. I like the adoration. <laughs> There are people every day in this world who are just going through way worse situations. People in poverty, people who have nothing, people living under tremendous injustice, victims of human trafficking. And, and can you still hold up this phrase, life is very good? Can you hold up that phrase over those and, and for it to mean something? And I'd like to say that you can't unless, unless, by the word life, you mean Jesus. Unless by the word life, you mean God. These events are so good because it brings young people from all over the country, all who love life, who celebrate life, and it's a great, uh, it's a great confirmation that we are doing God's will. One thing that I just love about Jeff and the crew, and the fact that they invited us here, is because they've decided to not just leave it at that. It's one thing for us, the leaders, the organizers of such a great event, to say, this, this needs to be the beginning, go out, go back home, and, and do stuff. That's, that's a great message, but they've actually invited us here to give you some practical steps on to what to do. Specifically, how can we do that? Now that the conversation has started, how do we keep that conversation productive and most importantly, loving? So that's why Becky and I are here tonight. Our goal with you in the next two hours is to help you. We, our goal is that when you walk out of this room tonight, you will feel more confident starting a conversation about abortion and keeping that conversation productive and loving. We are the Bella Generation! Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's awesome to see how many people there are uh, standing up for their faith. It is plain to see that you guys are powerful. You're going to change lives. You're going to make the future incredible, and no doubt. I hope someday you'll be able to think the same thing about the next generation. It's not about us being victorious. It's about us bringing Christ to everybody and bringing them to Christ. And so in the end, we have every soul, no matter where they're at. 
truly open the true view of abortion, how terrible it is, and it's been a great experience. I definitely go next year. It's impacted me in a lot of ways, spiritually and emotionally, and really helped me with fellowship. Save the babies.